All right, good evening, everybody. On this Sunday evening, I'm co lead forecaster Nicholas Dunn here with Ohio News. I wanted to give you a quick weather update for what we can expect for the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. We'll take a look at the radar right off the bat. You can see a few thunderstorms back across the west. I'll put the radar in motion here, and you'll see that these are ever so slowly just kind of taking their time moving off to the east. They're not really moving very quickly, and they're kind of weakening, as you see here, as they continue to push off towards the east. Our northern counties and our western counties could get in on some of this activity by 8 or 9 o'clock, but I think. We'll really have to keep an eye on is well back further out to the west you can see down across Missouri you can see more showers and thunderstorms developing here all of this is part of a larger system that is actually working toward us and will bring us showers and thunderstorms probably from early morning tomorrow through at least the evening hours tomorrow evening I think well then we'll finally start to see things taper off and it's going to cool off a lot as well all right let's detail some of those cooler conditions right now here in Columbus it's 78 degrees right now, so it's still mild. Get out there and enjoy the evening. It feels like 78 with a light east wind. Dew points at 54. The relative humidity at 42%, so it's very comfortable. Get out there and have a walk with the dog or just enjoy the evening. If you have any outdoor activities, no problems for tonight. And that very much a pressure sitting at 30.05. Fair weather is overhead, but that is going to change within the next 12 hours or so. Looking at current temperatures, it's kind of a mixed bag across the region. We have a few 60s along Lake Erie where things have cooled off very quickly this evening with the sun going down. It's currently still 78, as I said, here in Columbus. It's 77 in Zanesville, 80 still in Portsmouth. It's still 84 in Cincinnati, 77 in Dayton, and 79 in Chillicothe. As we head into tomorrow with that cold front coming through, as I mentioned, we do have a risk of some isolated severe weather, primarily to our east. This is across primarily eastern Ohio into West Virginia. There's a 5% chance here in this dark green, what we call marginal risk. You can see from 0 to 5. Right there at the 1, just at a marginal risk, and so nothing too bad is expected. Just an isolated storm or two could produce some damaging winds. We'll keep a close eye on that as we continue to head into the overnight hours. I'll provide an update at 2 a.m. on that. Now let's jump in now to our five-day forecast, starting with central Ohio tonight. A few clouds later on. I think we stay dry in Columbus through at least sunrise. Low of 61 tomorrow. Showers and a few thunderstorms are expected, a high of 73. Let's taper off and move out tomorrow night. We're down to 48 for a low. Tuesday, it's windy, but it's sunny with a few clouds and a high of 69. And then a low pressure system comes over the Great Lakes and just kind of meanders slowly for a couple of days. Brings a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm Wednesday, high of 67. But by Friday, we dry out. We're partly sunny. We're mild. We're back into the low 70s. So it's a little more comfortable for this time of year. Those 60s are going to be below average for us here in central Ohio. Let's move into the middle Ohio Valley for southeast Ohio and West Virginia. Take a look again at tonight, mainly clear skies. Again, I think a few clouds could move in late, especially for the western counties across the middle Ohio Valley. Low of right around 60 degrees, 59 or 60. Looking at tomorrow, we have that marginal risk for severe weather. Keep an eye on that. Showers and a few thunderstorms, a high of 79. A few storms could linger into the early to mid-evening tomorrow night, but I think that clears out and we see skies clear late, below 52. Tuesday, we're mostly sunny. We're pleasant. We're right around average across the middle Ohio, but Ohio Valley with highs in the lower 70s. Wednesday and Thursday, a few hit and miss showers are possible. Highs in the upper 60s to around 70 and lows in the upper 40s to around 50. And by Friday, we're back into the low 70s for sure with lows around 50 with partly sunny skies. And that's going to set up for at least what right now looks to be a nice weekend in the long run. Let's move up now to East Central Ohio, Mansfield over towards uh, Youngstown and Steubenville and Weirton as well. For tonight, a few clouds later, it will be mild with a low right around 60. Tomorrow, mid-morning through mid-afternoon, showers and a few thunderstorms, highs in the low 70s. For Tuesday, we're mostly sunny, we're breezy, and highs in the mid-60s. It's going to definitely feel like fall if you live across northeast Ohio this week. By Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, scattered showers, hit and miss. Some of those carry into the overnight hours as well with lows in the mid to upper 60s, sorry, highs in the mid to upper 60s, and lows in the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. Take a look at our next region, northeast Ohio, as we head into tonight, clear skies, low of 55. This is from our forecaster, Ashley Morgan. For Monday, showers and thunderstorms likely high right around 70. Tuesday, mostly sunny and a high in the mid-60s. Wednesday and Thursday, scattered showers with that disturbance moving across the Great Lakes, as I said. Just a cold enough in the loft that's going to create some showers. Highs in the mid-60s, lows in the lower 50s. And by Friday, we're back to right around 70 degrees with lows in the upper 40s. Looking at southwest Ohio from our forecaster, Amber Morgan, for tonight, partly cloudy, a low of 66. And I would not be surprised to see a stray shower or thunderstorm before midnight across our western counties in Indiana. But I think the, uh, the bulk of that should hold off till at least sunrise, hopefully. 
For Monday, not a great way to start the week with showers and thunderstorms, highs in the low 70s. But then we're dry the rest of the week. That disturbance that I mentioned going to move across the Great Lakes going to likely stay north of the southern Ohio area, at least southwest Ohio, based on what Amber is uh, forecasting here. So for right now, she's going sunny, but we could still see a couple of showers, primarily in the northern side, I think. Highs in the upper 60s to mid-70s through the week with lows in the 50s, so not too bad looking. But again, keep it tuned here for updates. Look at northwest Ohio. Uh, tonight, an increasing cloud showers becoming likely after midnight, and I think it's going to be a good bet into your Monday as well. Morning showers, and we should see some clearing later in the day and a high right around 70. Tuesday, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 60s. Wednesday, that disturbance triggers a few showers and high in the mid 60s. It'll be dry out for Thursday and Friday. I can't rule out a shower Thursday just because some of the other surrounding regions were forecasting some showers, but right now we'll have to keep a close eye on that over the next couple of days. and We'll fine-tune the end of the week as that disturbance continues to move closer. And moving on here, our uh, last region here tonight for Western Ohio, Eastern Indiana, again, partly cloudy tonight, low of 63. I mentioned a few showers could move in late, primarily for our Western counties, lows in the lower to middle 60s. For Monday, chance of showers and thunderstorms highs in the lower 70s. And then we're dry Tuesday through Friday, but again, depending on how that disturbance travels and trends through the week, we could see uh, the, the chance for rain introduced into the forecast. Again, this region is from Amber Morgan, one of our forecasters here at Ohio's New Center. Highs getting back into the lower to middle 70s by Thursday and Friday. Thanks for joining me tonight. Stay tuned to Ohio News Weather for the latest. I'll provide updates on the margin risk for severe weather at the next SPC update at 2 o'clock. Have a safe night and have a great rest of your night and have a good start to your week as well.